everyone, Prowl here, and today I wanted to go over some new and interesting things that have been happening with Realms and the Realms Plus subscription that I think many of you may find pretty interesting. Mojang is sponsoring this video, and I'll also learn some things that I think many of you may find interesting as well and find a lot of value in. So let's hop in and take a tour of some of these interesting features like Realm Stories and talk about some performance improvements that they've made to Realms as well. So first, to hit on the basics, a Realm is a multiplayer server hosted by Mojang, which you can set up and control in game. Realms are live all the time, so you aren't required to be online for other people to play there with you like you are with the single player world. And they come in two different options. Both of those allow you to invite as many friends as you would like to play with you. But the two player realm allows you plus two additional players on the realm at a time, whereas the 10 player realm allows you plus 10 friends or 10 other players on at a time. But also with the 10 player realm, you get the marketplace pass subscription. Now, what this does is it gives you access to currently over 180 pieces of different content from the uh, Minecraft marketplace for no additional charge, which does change periodically to keep the lineup of things you can do and experience kind of fresh and interesting. And they also give you like these character creator items monthly as well, which you can use to build your own Minecraft skin with many different interesting cosmetics. Now the character creator items are found in the character creation screen. And basically you can just go through and select lots of different things, things from hairstyles to features of the skin, eyes, mouth, hair, arms, legs, like all sorts of different things. Some of them are actually kind of really cool. So just keep in mind that you do get some of these each month that you have the Realms Plus subscription that you get to keep even if you end up canceling that Realms Plus subscription at some point. So just a cool little additional perk. So setting all this up is really easy. You just click on Marketplace, click on the three little books here on the left hand side, click on Subscriptions, and then you'll see options for a 10 player realm, a two player realm, or you could do the Marketplace Pass, which gets you all of the like Realms Plus stuff without the actual realm itself. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up the uh, 10 player realm right now so we can actually take a look at some of these really cool features. And I wanna talk about some of the performance gains that they've gotten in the realms as well. All right, and there we go. We have the realm set up. We'll hit go back. And then to start your realm, all you need to do is come over to play and then click on the little edit button beside the realm right there. That's our active realm because it had the green. And then now we can start in just a default world. We could start a brand new world. Um, there's a few things that we could do here that we're gonna go over. Now, just so we have access to the new stories feature that I'm gonna be talking about, we're actually going to switch from the regular Minecraft to the Minecraft preview. But by the time that this video comes out, you guys should have this feature within your normal Minecraft. Okay, so when you're getting started on your realm, this is how easy it can be to apply things to the realm. All you gotta do is we're gonna click on marketplace here and we're gonna find something in the marketplace that we want to apply to a realm. Uh, you can go to the little three books again. You can click on any either everything that you own or you could like look at your uh, current marketplace pass slash realms plus pass. You click on that and it will show you everything here that you can get as part of the pass. You can start to filter things too. Like here in our case, let's apply a world to it so we can just get that loaded up. So we could pick something like the Fallen Kingdom here. We could click on download. We don't have to buy it because it's part of the pack Hit download. Then we could click the create this world button and it'll allow us to create it on a realm server or just create it single player. So in this case, we're going to create it on a realm server. It's going to let us pick what server. Then we can pick which slot we want to apply it to. We'll click new world and it's not loading the world because I'm in Minecraft preview, but that's the process that you go through to do it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just going to go into the like edit screen of a normal world. Uh, we can click on the survival world right here. We can edit it and then we can change things about our world here. We can change the name of it that everybody will see up here. We can change our difficulty. Um, all of your standard game settings are gonna be located right down through here. Things like show coordinates or we can download the world to our local computer to do things to it locally but, and then re-upload it later. Uh, we can also reset the world here too. You can apply either resource packs or behavior packs that you may have downloaded on this section as well. Um, and this will show you all of your backups of your world that you have. That way if something happens to the world, somebody messes up or does something or something happens to the world file itself, you can roll back and get the last version of the world that was in the backup or even go back several versions. Uh, but I want to do something different here. We're actually going to do a little bit of a test. I'm going to actually invite a lot of people from my community to play on this realm and use this new realms stories feature that I'm about to show off to you. So we're going to hit create new. We're going to create just a standard world on our on our PC, a local world, and then we're going to convert it over. I'm going to 
set it on hard difficulty. And let me just do a few basic settings here. The main one being we are going to put the 1.21 update features in this world. So let's go ahead and turn that on and we're going to create this on a realm server. We can actually do this directly from here. We don't have to do it through the other screen. So what create on realm server, select the server. Uh, we're going to select the world to replace. We just click on this one. It will now create the world on top of that and it will have all of the new features. All right, I'm actually going to steal some of the supplies out of this chest because the people that come in and play here, we're going to leave them a little um, a little note. And that note is just going to be build something cool here at spawn and share it via the realms stories feature. So they're going to do that. And a couple of things I wanted to talk about when it comes to performance in the game is realms performance and even features have come quite a long ways. It used to be a while back that realms, they didn't really perform very well. They were still okay for how much you spent on them and for how simple they were. They, they had a good place in how they interacted in the Minecraft multiplayer experience for people, but they weren't these like super high performance things they, they were subject to a lot of lag when it came to things like uh, redstone devices a lot of players online etc and they've gotten an immense amount better but not only that but they've also actually even gone as far as increasing things like render distance and things of that nature too so for example like we can see things pretty far from there we actually are able to see at a render distance of 20 in realms now whereas if i go and change video down to 12 chunk render distance since 12 chunks is what we used to be able to see, which is almost as low as it can go. You see there when I set it to 12, like I can't see anything but acacia all the way around and an ocean over here. But if I go and I change it back up to anything 20 or above, it'll default to 20 being the highest. And then now I can see that I have some forest back there. Um, I would maybe be able to see some of my friend's bases. That looks like maybe, I don't know if that's a tree. That might be the start of a village over there. I can't really tell, but we can see a lot more in realms than we used to. So lots of really cool things that you can do with realms now. They're definitely a lot more functional with the further view distance. That was always my biggest knock on them before but in any event let's take a look at the realms stories real quick and then we'll take another look at them once people have played in the realm and have done some cool things and posted stories about them so you see realms stories right here we can click on this and it will give us some general information about realm stories and we can either opt in or not opt in to seeing the things on the stories and participating in them ourselves so i'm going to click the opt in and here is the story feed so it's going to kind of act like a i don't know maybe like a forum almost you're going to make posts and show off things and then you can comment on people's posts you can like them and things of that nature too there's going to be the story feed a timeline feed which is kind of cool we wanted to add our story we would click here uh, we could click to add a screenshot and when you can use the camera button on the pause menu to take a screenshot so let's go ahead and do that right let's go ahead and start ourselves off right here and i think we want to turn this little menu off because i think it captures that we're gonna hit escape we're gonna hit the little screenshot button down here that was very flashy pun intended and then we go to realm stories add story oh hold on just now there was a realm event check out the story feed in minecraft see what happened realm created okay cool so that's just for the creation of the realm we're gonna hit add story add screenshot we now have this screenshot in our list. Write your story. Welcome to the Prow Review Realm. Build something cool looking here at Spawn and post a realm story about it using the screenshot button in the pause menu. Cool. So now we can post it and you can see here it is on the story feed. Now for people to be able to play here, we need to invite people to play here. So we can go to invite to game and we can invite friends from our friends list if we want to. Or if I go to the main menu here and click on this guy right here, click on manage realm. We're going to go to members. We can do one of two things. We can either click to add somebody. We can invite them directly or we can indirectly invite people by sharing a link we can click the share link button this link will work for anybody that gets it so make sure you only send it to people that are trustworthy and then if you ever need to reset the link and kill the last link you can just click this little reset button and it'll give you a new link and the old link will stop working so we're gonna go ahead and copy this and i'm gonna share this with the community and we will see who decides to get on to build some cool things 
And then when we come back, we can click the little storybook here and we can look through the stories of our realm and the things that people have done without even joining if we want to. Okay, I have waited three days and I gave a whole bunch of people in my Discord access to this realm. And I wanted to see how they decided to use the realm stories. So let's go ahead and let's click on. First of all, I wanna show you a couple of things that I found out when I was poking around in this. First of all, if you go to timeline, timeline actually shows you who's been on and how much they've been on, assuming that they've opted into stories. If they don't opt into stories, like the people down through here, they, they do not show on the timeline. But everybody up here does. So you can see who's been on, what days, roughly what times. I mean, it doesn't actually give you a time breakdown, but I, I'm, I'm assuming it works off of your like local time. So you can at least have a rough idea of who's on when, which is kind of neat, honestly. And you can go through and look at members um, and you can sort them a lot of different ways. You can sort them by recently played. You can sort them by alphabetical order. So that way you can easily look through and see who is in your server, who is not in your server, keep track of them. You can see who's only online right now, um, who's part of Realm Stories and who who opted out of realm stories. Oh, and you can manage your members with this button right here as well. But then if we go through here and look, I'm going to kind of start back. If I were to give them one criticism, I guess I don't like that. I can't change the timeline order. I think by default, most people will probably want it newest first, but it would be nice to be able to sort it by oldest first as well, in case you wanted to. But you can see kind of back where we joined right here. And while I'm not going to go through every single one of these, we can see many different things. This uh, person, Suverp, has been playing here quite a bit. They set up a storage system. Miner's been playing there quite a bit looks like they set up a little mining camp uh found one of the new doggos which is really cool we could see like events which is kind of neat it like i don't i don't know if it automatically happens or if you have to like hit a button to do it i think it maybe automatically occurs but like this person discovered an abandoned mine shaft and it gives the coordinates which is kind of neat it'll tell you when people join the realm so you can make sure that somebody you sent an invite to has actually made it in it makes it really easy to do that and we just get to see all sorts of nice things hey here's a cherry biome that was found by Kalos here, which is kind of neat. Kalos, leave the leave the coordinates next time. There's a cool village back there in the background too, which is really neat. We have some uh, NP Beans building a starter house here. We have RLD found a trial chamber, which is really neat. There's NP Beans starter house up on a like a little platform. That's kind of neat. Uh, we have Suburk fighting the breeze. I can even drop a comment to him saying this looks like fun. And it creates like a little post right there where you can see that there's one comment. One person is liked. I'll drop a like on that one as well. Looks like we have Oliver has begun building like this little starter town, which is kind of neat. Oh, and Mello. Mello has made a gold farm. I love gold farms. Love it. Get that gold. That's awesome. The server's only been up a few days and you already have a gold farm up, which is really neat. And then I think on this page, we have a few extra like completed like builds, right? Um, somebody's made a record player. That's kind of neat. Uh, Peony has started making like a starter house type thing here. It looks like a pretty decent size. I like the like the structured layout, which is kind of cool. They've done some planning apparently or planning while they go or they're really experienced at this. That's looking really good. Looks like they've gotten like a lot of like drops and stuff, which is kind of cool. And oh, here's Oliver's like little section here done. And there's Peony's house done or mostly done anyways. Looks like we're missing like a tower or something over there, but that looks really cool. So anyways, when it comes to making Minecraft a social experience with your friends, I think Realms Plus is probably one of the best ways that I can think of that you could possibly do that. The feed thing, it's honestly really cool. And the things that you can get to see on it, like when people are online and stuff, I think makes it a lot easier to collaborate with your friends, see when they're online, make sure that you're online when more people are on and things like that it does really make it a lot better social experience i think and then as somebody that's like running a realm it's honestly pretty easy everything's right there at your fingertips when you log into the game so it does make it incredibly easy to do and uh i think i like it so much that i'm probably going to set up one of these for my daughter my daughter has some friends that she likes to play with and i could see them using that feature quite a bit to keep up with each other and kind of talk about the things they find and do and coordinate and stuff so we're going to see how that goes on my end you can check in with me later and i'll let you know how it's kind of worked out on my end, having my kids use it. Now, if you've never set up a realm before, or it's been a long time since you've done so, you do probably have a 30 day free trial that you can use right now. So definitely go sign up for that and give it a try. I appreciate you all watching today. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel for news, opinions, explainers, tutorials, guides, and more. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.